In this video, I'm going to show you how you can trade volatility 75 index by using ICT concept. So, ICT concept, the easiest way how you can trade it, you have to know that the market should be making the high highs, high low, high high, or should be making the lower low, should be making the lower low lower high and lower low so when the market breaks you wait to, uh, to get your confirmations and then you take the market up so uh, the market should be making the high highs high low high highs so this is what we call a b and c so we wait the market to move the to, make, to form the high high low and high high so the high high supposed to make this uh, the c c is supposed to break uh, the a are you getting this is a and this is b this is c the c supposed to break the what to break the a so when the a here is broken we wait we go in h h1 or in a small time frame we wait and we see uh, the pullback we see the pullback here then the market come back and then we shoot down we target the b i getting the point that is how you can uh, use itc concept to trade the easiest way the market should be you have to do to find it to identify the high low high you identify the a b and c so we wait the c to take out the a to sweep out uh, to sweep out the a so we drop in a small time frame in small time frame we we have to see that the from the b when we are forming c here so that we can break out the a we drop into a small time frame we have to see this high 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 low high 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 low high 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 low so uh, let's say that uh, this is the h4 a b c so in minute 15 we having the high 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 low high 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 low high 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 low so when this happen this a breaks this is the one which has break the a are you getting the point so in minute 15 this is the minute 15 so when you reach in minute 15 this is h4 this is the minute 15 are you getting the point this is our the zone a which has broken so we have to see that this uh, the high high in minute 15 and high low then the the high time frame was broken around this zone so what we have to see that the market the market to break before breaking the a zone eh? before the breaking the a zone what was the structure we have to find the structure before this was broken which means this is uh, the structure so we have to wait the market come back and break in minute 15 the previous structure before the a zone in h4 was broken which was this so after minute 15 break this our zone we will find we find the killer zone in minute 15 eh? the killer zone what is the killer zone a killer zone is a uh, uh, sorry the killer zone is what is a, a favorite a favorite gap so you can see that the market was making the high 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 low high high it breaks uh, the a and then and then it comes in minute 15 then do something like this in high time frame so we have to find here to find here a killer zone in minute 15 in minute 15 so we find a favorite gap in minute 15 we take 50 percent of that favorite gap the market will come and 
tap in your entries and then we drop down so uh, let me take you to show you uh, an example guys you can see here in h4 right now guys uh, let me bring the charts let me bring the charts very well and you see them i'm putting some charts here guys so that you can see them very well so wait okay so we have been in a downtrend guys you can see the market was going down so let me remove some some zones here so that you don't get confused so you can see that here the market is making the lower lows is making the lower lows you can see this is a this is b sorry this is a this is b this is c and it breaks this are you getting point guys so after breaking this we will find the zone in low time frame before uh, this get broken the market come and break it that zone come and in your favorite gap and then it swings we swings up so you can see here guys uh, this is the uh, a this is the move one move two move three guys are you getting the point move three and then we drop so there is something what i want to tell you that before before you see this uh, you see this oh let me cancel here yeah. the bits some software here they are getting mad guys Yes, we are back. Hold on a bit. So we are back. You can see, guys, that. Uh, so we have to find the liquidity sweep, guys. The liquidity sweep. Let me zoom out. The liquidity. The last liquidity sweep, guys. So even if you having this, uh, uh, move one, move two and move three this move three which was the uh, the last liquidity sweep guys is what we consider for because this it was swept and it keeps continuing which means also there was a uh, more candles you can see one two three four five almost candles what but what we have to consider we have to consider the last liquidity sweep this is the last our last liquidity sweep so you can see here at this moment you can see uh, around this place around this place guys around this this was our la last liquidity sweep so we can see that after this leg comes and the sweep uh, this liquidit here so we had a pullback we have what we have to do we have to drop down in a small time frame in a small time frame let us go to h1 so uh, before we go to h1 this was our uh, our liquidity sweep what is going on here hold on hold on a bit guys my zone they are becoming crazy they don't want to be accessible yes let me remove this like that so you can see that uh, this was our last liquidity sweep uh, this leg will move one move two move three it sweeps this liquidity guys we took this and then we took also this so we consider this last liquidity sweep so after market sweeping this liquidity we have we have a what we have a reversal we have a reversal here guys so we drop into small time frame this is h4 guys we go to h1 oh minute 15 let us go to minute 15 
So you can see here that this, uh, it was the leg which swept here. Here is when we swept out uh, what? Uh, a liquidity. Here is when we take out that liquidity. So we have to find the zone which happened before the liquidity taken out. So we can see that the, this in this zone, this zone here, this zone is our in H1. So in minute 15, we can see also, also this is the zone. It is the same zone. We can see the market came, making the, uh, this pull, pull back, comes again. Uh, then it comes, then it breaks. It takes out this uh, liquidity, guys. So we can, this, it was near. It touched on the zone and bounced back. So we consider this, this one. Before the zone was broken, the liquidity is was taken out guys so this was the last the last what the last low high the lower high the last lower high before the zone was broken so we take that we wait the market to come and take out this and take out this so this is the market sift we wait the market to sift from the sale to come to go to show us that the market now is more is sifting this is what we call a market sift eh? in ict concept on ict concept we have to wait a market sift the market sift was here so the market came and then it sifted so after seeing this that the market now is sifting we have to find a favorable gap that the part the, the the move where it started from so that it can sweep out this day to get the what to get the market shift we find the favorly gap the favorly gap how to find the favorly gap the favorly gap is the place is the distance from the opening of the from the closing of the candle uh, from the opening of the candle up to the closing of the candle so by which means this candle should be not having any candle that they have come back to fill this so if this gap this is the favorly gap so you have to take all of this you have to take all of that. You make it a zone. Uh, you highlight it to do toward to the right side. So this was the favorable gap. We wait the market to come and tap into the, our favorable gap. Where to put the stop loss? The stop loss we have to put it uh, this uh, this candle. Or you, you can see the last selling candle before the favorable gap or the second candle the first candle before uh, the favorable gap happening guys so we this is uh, our entry you can take the entry uh, up the uh, top of the favorable gap or it uh, be in the middle 50 percent but uh, i always consider to take what uh, the uh, the first of the uh the favorable gap where you started from so what do you have to do you wait the market to come and tap in you take your entry you can see guys the market come, comes in and tapped to the favorable gap here after tapping to the favorable gap raised up come and tapped again and then they touched to the to the supply you can see here. they tapped to the supply guys let me put uh, something like this so that we can confirm it is it tapped it very well done so to the supply so you can see that the market came tapped it here to the supply so you can take the uh, favorable gap or you put the supply supply and the demand count guys oh so you can see guys so after taking you entry put your stop loss below uh, the supply demand supply or demand count guys okay? so you have to come back to H4 to H4 where to put your TP you know that that where the leg the leg started from hmm? the move where the move started from to see that we can sweep up see that we have swept up the liquidity we can see here that this was the first second and third then we sweep that we target to this we target this is a 
B, C. So we have to target the B, and then we hold. We see that if we can reverse back where the market. You can see, guys, so who took this entry, then the market have raided it up. So, guys, that is the easiest way how you can what? You can use I, you can use I, CT concept to trade volatility 75 index. See you to the next episode. Peace.